Well, this isn't going to work. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Insert Title Here. I'm your host, Ryan Taylor. And today is the first episode of Insert Title Here where we will be breaking the norm for the show. For Super Bowl Sunday, I decided to make life a bit more unhealthy by making mozzarella cheese sticks wrapped in bacon with a beer batter. And today I'm going to show you how to make that so you can have heart attacks along with me. Now these are the ingredients you're going to need to make these delectable heart stoppers. You're going to need flour, salt, baking soda, baking powder, black pepper, an egg for an egg white, beer, oil to fry it in, and of course the obvious ones you're going to need cheese sticks and bacon. Alright, to make the beer batter you're going to need one cup of flour, half a teaspoon of baking powder, one eighth a teaspoon of baking soda, three fourths a teaspoon of salt, about one teaspoon of black pepper, the one egg white, and finally one cup of beer. Then you're going to mix it all together and let it sit for 90 minutes. Okay, so you have about 90 minutes for your batter to set, but uh, about 60-70 minutes into waiting you're going to want to go ahead and bake your bacon. So you're going to want to go ahead and take your tinfoil lined cookie sheet and start lining up the bacon. Once your bacon's lined up on your cookie sheet, go ahead and throw it into a cold oven. Once the bacon's in there, go ahead and preheat the oven to 400 degrees. You're going to leave the bacon in there for 20 minutes. Hmm. Alright, so once your bacon is out of the oven and your batter has had time to set, you're going to want to go ahead and pour your oil into your pan and start heating it up for frying. Uh, normally I just kind of wing it with how much oil I put in there, but if you want an exact measurement, four, five cups, I guess. So whenever you cook your bacon, it's usually about 20 minutes is the maximum amount of time you want it in there, but uh, you don't want it to get too crispy so you can still wrap it around the cheese sticks without it snapping. So if you've gotten a bit too dark, then you're going to go ahead and remove the crispy bits and you're going to get your toothpicks, your cheese sticks, and your bacon and go ahead and start wrapping it around and use the toothpick to stick it to it like so and then just go ahead and wrap it all the way around and use another toothpick to secure it on the other end and you're just going to do that until you run out of bacon or cheese sticks alright now once you've gotten all your cheese sticks wrapped in bacon you just want to go ahead and pour it into your batter sometimes the batter doesn't thicken quite enough so you may want to add a little bit more flour or, um, I mean, the first time I did it, I wound up adding a whole other cup of flour and another egg, and, uh, but that's because I had put in too much beer. So, while that's soaking, you're just going to go ahead and wait for your oil to heat, and get ready, your, uh, ready yourself with some tongs. Okay, so you're going to throw it into the grease and, you know, let it cook on one side. You're just going to want to make sure that everything is golden brown. So let's go ahead and start with this one. Alright, and once you go ahead and remove the toothpicks, there you have it. You have your mozzarella bacon cheese sticks. Enjoy. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Leave me a comment down below if you like. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, depending on how you like the video. And until next week, enjoy.